Quick update on my Oscars quest for 2016 movies. This year, for the first time, I locked in my predictions about what movies and actors would get nominated. Nailed it! 27 out of 29 predictions. I correctly predicted all nine of the Best Picture nominees. And I guessed all of the Best Actors in Lead Roles. But I did miss one of the Actress in a Leading Role nominees. Instead of Ruth Nega in Loving, I predicted Amy Adams in Arrival. I also missed one of the actors in a supporting role. I went with Aaron Taylor Johnson in Nocturnal Animals, but it was Michael Shannon from that same movie, which I'm pretty happy with. My buddy Jerry described his role as delightfully, entrancingly creepy performance. I think he's spot on with that. I was also spot on with the actresses in supporting roles. Thank you, thank you, no, no, please, thank you. Hey, enough bragging, let's get down to my pre-Oscar game plan. Let me quickly rearrange these best pictures to cluster them to similar acting nominations. For best actress in a leading role, only one nominee overlapped with being a best picture nominee, and that's Emma Stone in La La Land. For best actor in a leading role, it was the opposite. Four out of the five were also best picture noms, with Viggo Mortensen in Captain Fantastic being the over, the only non-overlap. The same was true with the actor in a supporting role. The one outlier was Michael Shannon in Nocturnal Animals. An actress in a supporting role was the only category with complete overlap. All five nominees are also Best Picture nominees. All told, that makes for 15 total movies. I'm in decent shape. I've seen eight, and that only leaves me with seven if I want to be a completionist. So I still need to see Jackie, Loving, Florence Foster Jenkins, L, Captain Fantastic, Hacksaw Ridge, and Hidden Figures. Jackie, L, Hacksaw, and Hidden Figures are all still in theaters, and I want to see all of them except Hacksaw. I'm really thinking I might just skip that one. Loving will be the tough one. That's in the dead zone. Not in theaters anymore, not rentable yet. I've got Florence and Fantastic in my Netflix queue, so those should be able to knock down before Oscars. My early favorites are Emma, Casey, Mahershala, Viola, and Moonlight. Click to subscribe to make sure you catch my official predictions as we get closer. And let me know your predictions, favorites, and any disappointments that you have in the movies in the comments down below. I gotta go. I gotta see what time Elle is playing.